this is what we're working with in my master bathroom. I have had this mirror for a while. I love this mirror. I'm going to paint this mirror though. This was always just a temporary thing because there's no storage in here. Obviously it's a pedestal sink, pedestal, pedestal, you know what I'm saying. Um, and although this has, I guess, functioned, it's not aesthetically pleasing at all. It's been driving me crazy for a while. And this bathroom it has these two windows in here. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't care about anyone seeing up there, but I'm going to add something here to block out from like the lockdown. So you can't see like my face or obviously my boobs when I take a shirt off in here. So we have another window right here and then this shower, which is very small. Eventually we're going to take this wall out right here and then open it up a little bit more and then that will be like a big shower in there. Then I'm going to eventually move the toilet over here and then eventually do like a little vanity right there. But for now, we're gonna make do with this. We're gonna make it better and then eventually change out this light. We're just gonna spruce it up, but it starts with cleaning this area up. That I think will help me a lot. All right, this is what I just picked up, Carlos doesn't believe that it's going to go where I have the vision for it but it's it, first it's it's gonna it's gonna work so great <laughs> okay I'll, I'll be it's in our bathroom but it ain't thick <laughs> I'll tell you that right now it is a little bigger than it's I thought it's not fitting in our bathroom unless you know of a secret <laughs> wall that opens to another bathroom just just <laughs> <laughs> okay? Just, um... It's gonna be trouble getting it in. Okay? But... Just... You sure? What's you ready for it to go in? Yeah, just... Where? Just, just follow me. Just follow me. Obviously, I want to make sure my vision... Oh, <laughs> I hit every single wall with this thing. Oh, there's the last one. Okay. Oh, there it is. Listen. Careful of the okay, chair. Up. Okay. I'm hitting everything. I have very <laughs> bad perception when it gets near my feet. Okay, it might be too big. <laughs> Where do you want this man? Against here in this corner? Yes. Straight back. Straight back? It's not gonna fit. Oh, try it, try it, try it. Listen, unless I shatter this glass, <laughs> it ain't gonna fit. I'm telling you right now. I will be so upset. It's not going to fit. <laughs> I don't care. You got a you got a caddy corner. Carl, just let me try. Okay, it here we place. go. Ready? Yes. I can't believe you thought that was gonna fit in there. Well, number one, I didn't have the measurements, so I did this by a picture. Don't just listen. I have faith that I can make this work. Don't ruin the nice floor. I am. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, so that piece of furniture from Facebook Marketplace, I wanna paint it. I think I wanna paint it white. I have some white paint, like a sample of white paint on hand, so I'm going to just paint it that color. See if it works. If it doesn't, I can always repaint it. I eventually would like to repaint the bathroom. You know, ultimately, we're going to like really redo this bathroom, but that's probably at least a year away. I do want to repaint this bathroom and kind of change up the floors a little bit in the meantime, but not today. <laughs> I just want to like get this painted, get the bathroom set up, maybe paint the mirror, get the the little curtains. I ordered some little curtains for the windows, get that set up and just make it feel like a much more I don't know. Just make it feel like a little bit more luxurious, as luxurious as a tiny bathroom can be. Not luxurious. I don't even know what the word would be, but you know, just feel like a little more put together and do it obviously on a budget. Also, I found some kind of like, they're not gadgets necessarily. I don't know. I'll show them to you in a little bit. Now let's go ahead and paint this bad boy. A part of me thought, well, maybe I'll just keep it like this wood color, but it's such a dark color wood. This bathroom is like a very, very pale yellow. I honestly don't mind the color that much, 
but I think ultimately I'd rather it be a different color at some point, but for now, we're gonna keep it. I'm still trying to decide what color to paint this mirror if i want to just go ahead and do white which i think that's what i'm gonna do i thought about possibly doing gold but i don't know how well the gold will go with the yellow up against the wall i don't know so i think i'm gonna go with white for now and again repaint it if it doesn't work but since all this is white the window trims white i think that will be pretty since it's such a small space i think keeping everything really light in here will hopefully like just make it I don't know, not feel quite as cramped. <laughs> it's fine, honestly, I don't mind it that much, but it's not your ideal master bathroom. Um, but we're in a 100-year-old house, so things were just different when this house was built. The paint sample that I have is called Bohemian Lace. We got this sample when I got a few whites before we painted my daughter's room white and the kitchen and the family room white. This was one of the options. It was a little bit too yellow when I looked at it for like our bedroom wall or Lennon's bedroom walls and the family room walls and stuff. But I think in here, just on this um, shelving unit, shelving unit, <laughs> um, hopefully it'll work. Like I said, it's I just had it on hand. So also, like I gotta keep the duck. <laughs> I use this duck as my necklace holder and I just think he's kind of fabulous or she I don't know which one I don't know if it's a she or a he I feel like it needs a name leave me a comment below if you have a good name for it I'm not gonna sand it I think it'll be fine at not sanding it hopefully <laughs> another day I didn't get to finish it said so today is a new day I ran out of paint out of that little sample so I went to Lowe's and got a new sample I actually did it in a different color this time um, I did what color I did it in just like the ultra white it's a little bit whiter than the what was it Swiss coffee I think I had um, no bohemian lace I, I got pretty much most of it done with that one sample, so I'm just gonna do another coat over all of it. So it should just like mix together. You know, whites, they're not that far off, so I think it'll be fine. And then I need to paint the mirror, so I need it also painter's tape. So that's another reason why it extended into a new day. But we're gonna finish pulling this together though today. I'm ready to be done with this phase of the bathroom. And then I gotta start decorating my porch for 4th of July. So many people drive by this house and I love to have it festive and I feel like I've been slacking totally and I want to like 4th of July it out. Um, so I got a few things off of Amazon and whatever, that's the next video. So let, let's get back to this bathroom.
going to let this dry before I put any more paint on it. And now I'm going to take down the mirror, tape it off. Then I'm going to attempt to paint this white as well. I just think that it will look pretty. Hopefully it looks pretty. I'm a little nervous because I love this mirror so much. If all else fails, if I paint it and it doesn't look good, then I'll like spray paint it something else. Ah. Fingers crossed. <sighs> this mirror is so heavy, I forgot. Okay, I definitely need to put like something down underneath that mirror so I don't get paint on my floor. My paint cloth. Look how bad you fogged up. That's how hot and humid it is here. family has joined us wait, wait, wait. and uh what do you think of the mirror painted white do you think it looks better way better yeah because of that old <laughs> rustic nasty <laughs> look like out of a haunted mansion look oh will you lift it up for me i think i i think it has enough coats on it but i just it's super heavy and i need a really strong buff man i might have to do a couple touch-ups that's why i left the tape on do you need me to help you hold it no, I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. That looks so much prettier white. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. I accidentally got a little bit of paint on the glass I gotta scrape off. What? Look how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh. Guess what? Yes, it's another day. It's so close to being done for now. I wanna do a little bit more paint right on the mirror and then we're going to be putting everything in there. Listen, the like bookcase is not perfect. I am not like a pro painter, that's for sure. And I don't have that much patience for painting, but it's good enough. I think it looks great. Would I resell this piece with its paint job? Debatable, but it works for me. I like it and I love the feel. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I painted that mirror white because I think it looks so good in there. So let's do one last coat of paint and then let's put everything in its place and hang the curtains in there, the little like half curtains. I think that's gonna make it look so nice. And uh, yeah, we're almost there, let's go. I'm gonna scoot this back. So I tested these out up there to make sure you couldn't like see through them at night and you can't you can see like a little bit of a shadow But the like waffling or not it's not waffle But the way the texture is on this you it's just like kind of blurred a bit And I like it because you can still see light get light through during the day But it kind of conceals you at night as well. Well, it does conceal you You can't you can't see through because you could definitely see right through these windows at night um, without this on there so and I would have to pull the shades down and the shades because this 
room is already small just made it feel so cramped I didn't like the look of the shades anyways and so this looks so much better I think it's so pretty and then of course you just have like the regular window a little bit up there so I like the way it looks like this everything I used in this room I will link down below that I got from Amazon in case you want to do something like this in any of your rooms or this sparked an idea for you and I have some more stuff to show you once we get everything up okay I just was painting something gold and I thought I was recording turns out my my not my battery uh, my memory card was full so I just realized you didn't see any of it but let me show you what I just did okay so I had some gold paint like um, I don't know just like an acrylic gold paint so I put some in here and I decided oh, you can see it. I decided to paint his bill his beak bill I decided to paint it gold it was orange it needs another coat and I, I literally just did it with my fingers. So um, we're gonna touch it up. But I just think it like adds a little bit of pizzazz to it. And I like that it kind of has like the orange peeking through, but it's also like gold. And then it holds my gold necklaces. I love the quirkiness of this duck. We love a quirky vibe. That is definitely something we've tried to add in a little bit throughout the house. There's little bits of quirks to it. And just a little bit of fun and this duck just says fun. <laughs> also, I painted this bar gold that was just silver and old, and I was going to take it off and like spray paint it, but I was like, let me see if I can just use that paint and paint it. Again, like I started with this paintbrush. Oh, don't mind my <laughs> don't mind my toothbrush. I started with this paintbrush, and uh, then I just kind of used my fingers to dab around it. I got a little bit on the wall, but you know, I just don't want to spend too much money. Like obviously, I could have changed out the towel bar. Um, but I just don't want to spend too much money right now until like we want to legit redo this room There's so many areas of this house that I want to like tweak and everything costs money And we are also in the process of like getting some estimates to build a pool because Man, that's the thing that we miss so much about our old house So that has jumped up to the top of our priority list is trying to figure out how to put in a pool here um, because it's just, it's hot in Florida so much. We used our old pool so much. We realized not only do we love the pool, Magnolia loves the pool. And so every little bit that I can save on like the inside, trying to do things extra affordably can go towards the pool. So long story long, the reason I painted that gold instead of getting a new towel bar was to save any extra little bit of money that I can because it works, it looks cute. Look at that, gold bar, boom, love it. everyday hair care and my shower cap I got the shower cap on Amazon isn't it the cutest dang shower cap you've ever seen they also had like other color or um well yeah colors patterns but I just I love this it's so cute See if you notice anything. Hey, oh my! I just got done with work. I worked so hard. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, no. I want to see if you notice anything in here. Well, first off, it looks really good. Thank you. One. And you did a great job with the mirror. Thank and you. It's just I honestly hated this bathroom for a long time. I know. The whole year we lived here. And now I really like it. Even though I don't spend a lot of time here. Yeah. Because I don't want to go to the bathroom here and disrupt anything. Yeah, and you don't like the shower because it's too small. I'm six foot five. Oh my gosh. Okay, pounds. you don't notice anything? Oh, you painted the 
<laughs> I painted its beak oh, <laughs> gold. No. Don't touch it, it's still cold. I oh, love what? it. <laughs> that looks like a pimp ass duck. I know, right? Doesn't that give it yeah, more like zhuzh? It. I'm glad we're keeping I, it. I I know, right? It's quirky. I also painted that towel bar. I, I was just about to say that's next. That looks very good. You're so good, babe. You're Thank so you. Good. Thank you. I painted it with my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't have, a, <laughs> didn't have a small enough paintbrush. I know. See your work around the bill. Listen, I'm not an artist. It's, <laughs> no, good, job. it's good enough. It's good oh, enough. Yeah. So cute. It just looks so much better. Now. So much better. And if it was up to me, it would still look like shit. <laughs> yeah. It would just be a shitty bathroom. Because I'd be like, mm, this is some bathroom. Be like, this. I want to make it look good until we redo it. All right, almost there. Okay, so since the shower is not the most visually appealing shower, I'm going to hang a towel right there that matches the hand towels, just a plain white one so that it gives I don't know, a little distraction kind of makes it feel a little hotel y. So that's what we're gonna do. Good enough. <laughs> this uh, diffuser, Reed diffuser, is the Ritz Carlton inspired scent. Mm, it smells so good. It definitely is not super strong. So it won't make a like big room smell. I don't think, it, I, I definitely don't think so. But a smaller room, like a little bathroom or something like that, this is so, it's such a like luxurious smell. I got off of Amazon. I've gotten a few times, so I keep buying it because I love it. You definitely have to remember to like flip the reeds um, regularly or it won't have a good, it won't give off a good smell. But my goodness, if you want like a luxe smell, I wish they had this in like a wax melt and a candle because I'm so obsessed. I love adding plants into a bathroom because they just feel like it gives this, I don't know, like fresh feel in here, especially since this is a smaller bathroom, I think it feels a little more luxe. If you can get a fresh plant, a real plant, I think that's even better. Sansevieria is super easy to keep alive, does well in lots of different conditions. So this is like a, a plant that if you're not great with plants, this is a great plant to get because it requires like hardly any attention. It doesn't like a lot of water. It's, it's so good, I have them all over the house. And then I just put it inside this basket that I had from Ikea. I have a little, um, uh, what's it called? A little thing to catch the water down there, a little plastic bowl to catch the water down there so I can literally just water it right inside here and not have to worry about it. Another little way I like to make my bathroom feel a little more fancy, even though it's small, is to do a fancier looking soap bottle. This is just an amber soap bottle, empty soap bottle that I filled up myself from Amazon. I got this label off of Amazon as well, I'm pretty sure. It just makes it look a little extra fancy. Okay, I found an Amazon product that has been like a total game changer for me and my small bathroom and having pedestal sinks throughout the house. So this thing looks like this and it goes on your sink. Let me show you. So you just open it up like this and it goes right here and I just lift my soap up. I don't push it all the way up against the wall. I kind of bring it out so I have a little bit of room to turn the water on if I need to like wet something real quick. I put my soap back and this has been such a game changer for me to like get ready in here to do my hair because now this is what I do. Normally I have like no space to put my curling iron or my waver. So now you can put it on here. It's silicone so it doesn't matter if it gets hot, it's heat resistant. I can put my brush, I can put my clips and I can even bring my coffee in and set my coffee right here while I'm doing my hair. It's amazing. You have so much space to put other things if you need to lay out makeup, anything like that. This has been a total game changer, like I said, for us. Lennon wants one, I'm gonna get one because all my bathrooms in this house, have, there's four bathrooms and they all have pedestal sinks. So I'm eventually gonna get them for all the bathrooms, I'm pretty sure. They're super handy. I think it comes in another color too. One other thing to show you, if you have a small bathroom, this is another thing I found, of course, on Amazon. 
and I think it's pretty genius. It is this little trash can. It also has a built-in toilet brush. How smart is that? It's not like a huge trash can. It's about the size of like an average bathroom trash can. It's just enough for me, and I love the fact that it has the built-in toilet brush. You know, there's not a lot of extra space in here. I have this stool in here because Magnolia uses it to brush her teeth and wash her hands in here. And I keep an extra basket down here and these are my makeup cloths. These I also found on Amazon. I use them every time I take off my makeup instead of like a makeup wipe. It says you can just use this with just water and it'll take your makeup off. Have you ever heard of the makeup eraser? It's like that same kind of concept. It's smaller. They also have bigger ones. So I just take my face wash, put it all over my face, and then use this and kind of like wet it and then wipe it off. It takes all my makeup off. It's so great. I highly recommend these. I think it's like, I don't know, I got quite a few in a pack. They're great. But anyway, so when I get done washing my face, I just throw them in this little basket down here so I keep it separate from my clothes. And then I wash this like once a week, all my makeup wipes. And then Magnolia can use this stool too. Um to wash your hands and brush your teeth so it kind of like does double duty so i didn't want to have another toilet brush holder cleaner thing over here so i thought this two-in-one is great i think it'd also be great for like an rv or a camper or some kind of place that you just have smaller bathrooms okay let's take a final look at the bathroom what a journey we've been on together <laughs> i'm so done with done with turned out I think it looks so good for doing it on such a tight budget not even repainting or anything just kind of changing things around finding things off Facebook marketplace jazzing it up a little bit so if you have a little bathroom or space that you just want to zhuzh up a little bit maybe this will give you the motivation to do it I think it's so important to feel good in spaces and if you have a space that's just not giving you good energy when you go into it I feel like if you can try and fix it a little bit without having to spend a ton of money, why not go ahead and do it? So that's exactly what this bathroom was for me. Is it my dream bathroom? No. But does it feel a heck of a lot better? Yes. And one day, hopefully I'll make it into my dream bathroom. But until then, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below that I talked about in case you're interested in any of it. I definitely didn't intend on doing this whole video basically makeup list, but it is what it is. I hope you guys don't mind. If you know someone that would benefit from a video like this or you think would enjoy it, make sure to share it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it yourself. And let me know in the comments below if there is a room that you are putting on your list to fix up, whether it be like this or you're doing like a full makeover. I'd love to know. You know I love that stuff. But that's it for today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.